Good morning to all of you. In the previous lecture, uh, we have uh, discussed about expectation of discipline of variable. Now, we are going to discuss about variance. The variance of a random variable x is denoted by Greek letter sigma, sigma square, and it is given by sigma square equals to c of x, which is equal to expectation of x minus expectation of x whole square. Uh, after simplifying this definition, actually we get sigma square equals to expectation of x square minus expectation of x whole square. We just break this expression. Uh, after breaking this expression, we get this one. Always remember this definition. Just remember this definition because this definition is used when you solve the problem on variance. Here, a remark, there is a remark. Uh, since expectation of x minus expectation of x whole square equals to 0, because the square quantity cannot be negative. Therefore, uh, after simplifying, we get expectation of x square minus expectation of x whole square greater equals to 0. This implies what? Expectation of x square greater equals to expectation of x whole square. And the positive square root of the variance is called standard deviation, and it is denoted by sigma sigma equals to uh, root over variance. Let me discuss some theorem. If A is any constant, then variance of A is 0. In case of uh, uh, expectation, it was what? If A is any constant, expectation of A equals to 0. But in case of variance, if A is any constant, then V of A equals to 0. The proof is very easy. And the second theorem says that if x is any random variable and a is any constant, then variance of ax equals to a square into variance of x. In case of uh, expectation, it was what? Expectation of ax equals to a into expectation of x when a is any constant. But in case of variance, uh, variance of ax equals to a square into variance of x. And the third theorem says that if x is a random variable and a and b are two constant, then variance of ax plus b equals to a square into variance of x. Just remember the statement of the theorem. Uh, let me define covariance. If x and y are two random variables, then covariance between x and y is uh, denoted by a co covariance of xy and it is defined as covariance of xy equals to expectation of x minus expectation of x into uh, y minus expectation of y. And uh, similarly, uh, here we uh, use some simplification. After simplifying this term, we get actually covariance of xy equals to expectation of xy minus expectation of x into expectation of y. So she remember this definition. One thing remember that uh, I have already told about that if x and y are two independent random variables, then expectation of x y equals to what? Expectation of x into expectation of y. If x and y are two independent variables, then covariance will be what? Expectation of x into expectation of, uh, actually uh, definition of uh, covariance is what? Covariance of x y equals to expectation of x y minus expectation of x into expectation of y. Uh, if x and y are two independent random variables, then expectation of x y is what? Expectation of x into expectation of y. Therefore, covariance will be zero. Just remember that if x and y are two independent random variables, then covariance of x, y is 0. Uh, let us take an another theorem. If x and y are two random variables and a and b are any two constant, then variance of ax plus minus uh, by equals to a square variance of x plus b square variance of y plus minus twice ab covariance of x, y. And um, from this uh, from this theorem, 
uh, we come across a corollary. Suppose if x and y were two independent variables, then what we get? Covariance of x y equals to zero. Then if we consider x and y are two independent random variables, then variance of a x plus b y is a square into variance of x plus b square into variance of y. This term will be famous as covariance of x y equals to zero if x and y are two independent random variables. Uh, we can extend uh, this theorem. Uh, suppose the, uh, if we take a and b equals to 1, then variance of x plus minus y will be what? A variance of x plus variance of y. Here we consider a equals to 1 and b equals to also 1. Uh, we can extend this theorem for nth independent random variable. If x1, x2, xn are independent random variable, then variance of x1 plus the x2 up to plus minus xn equals to uh, variance of x1 plus variance of x2 up to variance of xn. This was going to be what summation of p of xi. Here, if x1, x2 up to xn are not independent, if these are not independent and available, then variance of summation of xi equals to summation of p of xi plus twice of uh, summation of i from 1 to n, summation of i equals to 2, uh, i equals to 2 from n, covariance of xi into xz, z from 2 to n. Let us take an example. If a random variable x takes the value 1, 2, and 3 with the probability p of x equals to r, which is equal to r by 6, and r, is, r takes the value 1, 2, and 3. Find the value of expectation of x, variance of x, expectation of twice x plus 3, variance of uh, twice x plus 3, and uh, probability of x theta equals to 2. Before uh, find the value of this one, uh, we have to find the probabilities. Suppose x takes the value 1, 2, and 3, and probability is uh, defined as what? r by 6. Means if x equals to 1, probability is 1 by 6. If x equals to 2, probability is 2 by 6, and so on. And expectation of x is what? Summation of x into px. Here, uh, x takes the value 1, 2, and 3. Therefore, expectation will be what? 1 into 1 by 6 plus 2 into 2 by 6 plus 3 into uh, 3 by 6. This one will be 7 by 3. Similarly, variance will be what? Variance of x. We just use the definition. Variance of x is expectation of x square minus expectation of x whole square. First, you have to find expectation of x square. Expect, uh, we know that expectation of x is what? Summation of x into px. And expectation of x square will be what? Summation of x square into px. Thus, x square. Therefore, this will be 1 square into 1 by 6 plus 2 square into 1 by 6 plus 3 square into 3 by 6 and it will be 6. Therefore, variance will be what? 5 by 9. Again, in the third problem, we have to find expectation of 2x plus 3. Suppose consider y equals to 2x plus 3 and expectation of y will be what? As an expectation of 2x plus 3. Uh, we know that expectation of a x where a is any constant then it will be what a into expectation of x x where 2 is a, uh, is a constant therefore this term will be what 2 into expectation of x plus 3 if a is any constant uh, then expectation of a is 3 uh, therefore expectation of 3 will be what 3 therefore this will be uh, 23 by 3 and try to solve this last two problems also. These are very easy. Just use the property of variance, uh, variance of Ax. Plus. I have already um, told the theorem variance of Ax plus 3 will be what? Um, uh, variance of Ax plus b is what? a square into variance of x. Here, here a is what? 2. Therefore, this term will be 2 square into variance of x. Just try to find 
last two problems. Thank you.